And now we're going to take a closer look at New Jersey's new jobs report. Employers in the state overall adding 8,100 jobs last month, and that's all because of gains in the private sector, especially things like leisure and hospital and education and health services. Public employment dropped by 2,300 jobs, and the overall unemployment rate dropped to 9 percent. Joining us now is the Commissioner of Labor and Workforce Development, Hal Worth. It's good of you to join us once again, Commissioner. Hey, thanks for having me. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here, especially on days with them. Good news like this. Well, you see, the, uh, the unemployment rate was, what, 9.3% uh, yes. just a month before. And the month before that, we were 95 So we've had a, a real nice drop in the unemployment rate. We dropped five-tenths in two months, which is pretty... Um, Pretty astounding numbers that drop to go from 9.5 to 9 percent. You know, when we in the outside take a look at these numbers, sometimes we'll go, wow, look at that. Do you, I mean, when you see these numbers, do you do that at all? Oh, when I saw three-tenths of a drop, that was a, that was a good day. And when I saw the 10,400 jobs were created on top of December, where we had almost 25,000 jobs created, and then February, we had 9,400 jobs created. And this it was month, with a downward re revision. Yeah, it was a downward numbers, revision, right? yeah. and it was revised down to 9,400. Yeah. But, you know, just in that three-month period, January, we were down a lot, but you had almost 43,000 jobs created in the state of New Jersey. And, and as you said, the bulk of them are in the private sector. And since February 2010, which is a low point in the recession and the first full month of Governor Christie's um, term in office, we've created now 127,000 private sector jobs in the state. So it's definitely very, very encouraging. And uh, the trend is our friend. And we're definitely making um, progress and creating a lot of jobs here. What's the fuel underlying that trend? The, I, I think probably just the uh, um, economy in general is improving. I think that, you know, people have, have our labor market had always stayed strong, but I think you see the general um, improvement, you know, look at the, in the nation and in the state. And I think people are, our labor participation rate in New Jersey shows people are feeling much more optimistic and they're not dropping out of the labor market. Like, for instance, the national numbers last month, 490,000 people got discouraged and dropped out of their market. We're not seeing that in New Jersey. We have almost a 66% labor participation rate, which means people are either working or they're looking for a job when the, when the Bureau of Labor Statistics surveys them. So I think it just shows an optimistic um, New Jersey. People are feeling um, good. And you know, we're not thrilled yet. We got a lot of work to do, but when you create, we've recovered half of the jobs lost since the Great Recession. And when you consider what New Jersey's been through, you know, we went through the worst recession since the Great Depression, and, the, and we just started getting our heads above the water a little bit, and then we were hit with the worst storm ever to hit New Jersey, the second worst storm in history, Superstorm Sandy. And then also as a, as a Department of Labor, I'm hit with sequestration from the federal government. How so much is that impacting you, the sequestration aspect? It, it's So far it hasn't had a severe impact, but it will impact the tiers, the federal unemployment insurance. It will start cutting those payments um, relatively soon. We're working um, so with the governor's So does that make it policy. crucial then that we do see the, the, the unemployment rate getting lower because sequestration would take less of a bite that way? Oh, there's no question. More people come off of the unemployment rolls and go back to work. You know, that's, you, know you have 120,000, 127,000 people now paying taxes, buying items and joining the workforce. But as you point out, more importantly, it'll be less people that'll get cut when the federal. I want everyone in Jersey to know that 26 weeks is secure. That'll continue to pay that state funds. But the federal funds will start dropping off as the sequestration um, continues. When will that happen? We expect it to probably happen over the next several um, weeks or months. There'll be a, a minor drop um, in the federal UI um, unemployment. But the good news is we have more people going off of EUC, which is extended benefits, than coming um, on. So things are improving. And actually, with this unemployment rate dropping, you may eventually have tier four um, drop off. Right now, the maximum you can get is 73 weeks. But it really, it's going to end cold turkey January 1st, 2014, other than the state benefits that will continue to 26 weeks. As, as government jobs continue to shrink, how much pressure does that put on you to find success in the private sector? Well, look, the government um, jobs are down about 7,000, according to Bureau of Labor Statistics, since Governor Christie has come into office, and we've gained 127,000 jobs. As Labor Commissioner, no one likes seeing anybody lose jobs. I'm pretty sure we can offset those jobs in the in the private sector. I think the government has stabilized now, and a lot of pain has already um, gone through at the local, state, and federal level, and it shows that the um, loss in the government jobs is pretty much stabilized. Commissioner, I have to leave it there. Hope to check back with you again next month. Thanks for having me. Thanks. Thanks.